Estimation with use cases. Estimation is what? Finding out time, effort and uh, the cost. So here we have actors. This is a use case being made in UML, Unified Modeling Language. So uh, an actor is someone who interacts with the system or the software. So a customer is an actor. Now he does certain activity like the open account function, deposit function, uh, deposit fund, calculate bonus. So all these, the actor and these uh, boxes or the round ovals, these are called transaction. It can extend, it can, it can include. So these are called transactions. So use case, actor and transaction. These are the three things which we try to find out from here. For understanding this, you need to know what is use case. So use case gives what? It gives us like a software team with insight into software scope and requirements. What is the software scope? What will be the requirements? So you can present it as a use case. Okay, you know, as I said that UML in unified modeling language, you can always present use cases. So now use cases, this can be used for as you were using the function points and LOCs, a line of code and process. You can use this use case to project the size of the software project. Time, effort, money. There are certain challenges here uh, while using the use cases as the base. Because you and me, both of us will make the UML in different style, different formats. There is no set that everyone will make same way. And this uh, use case is actually a user's view. It's, it is from external. You're not going to interior. And because you can write, you can make say 10 transactions. I can make only two transactions. So the level of abstraction or the detail which you and me are giving for a same use case will be different. And this use case does not address the complexity of the functions and the feature that are described. It is just saying these are the function and feature. Who is going to interact in what way? And what is, after that you will see the state diagram and the sequence diagram, the swim lane diagram, all these things will come. But this use case will describe complex behavior. That is the interactions. If you see here, transactions are going uh, involving many functions and features. So we have various constraints. But still we can use this use case points to find out the UCPs. You know the function point analysis, function points you used to find out. Similarly, way we can find out the use case points or UCPs analogous to the function points. So what we have to do here is, I'll tell you all the procedure, but Cohen, he indicates computation of use points must take certain characteristics into account. First, the use case, number and complexity of use case. So first you have to go for the use case, how many actors are there, so the number and complexity of the actors on the system. Then third thing is you have to also consider the non-functional requirement, uh, which are portability, performance, maintainability like this, which are not written as use cases. There are environmental factors also for project development, programming language, software team motivation, that will also be included in the computation. So in order to begin, we have to know if you start with use case, what is the complexity of use case? See here, a simple use case, it just indicate a simple user interface. So this is a simple use case. The complexity is simple. So simple use, use case may just be a user interface simple. It can be a single database. The number of transactions are less than three and five or less than five uh, class implementation. So this is a simple complexity. If you say now my use case is uh, average. So what do you say? A use case, which is an average, it indicates a more complex user interface. Uh, it can have a two to three database, unlike the previous one simple where only single database was there. And there can be the transaction between four to seven, the transaction I told you. When the use cases are formed, we show the transaction or activity. So five to 10 classes will be there. When you say my use case is complex, that means you can have 
a complex user interface and besides that you have multiple databases and there can be 8 or more transactions and 11 or more classes. So depending upon that you will divide or you will categorize your use case into simple, average and complex. Now every use case complexity have a weight. For example, simple will have a weight of 5, average will have a weight of 10 and complex will have a weight of 15. So this, this is uh, the way we find out UUCW. UUCW is simply unadjusted use case weight and this is the sum of all weighted counts. For example, your project has two simple cases, simple use cases, two average use cases and one complex use cases. I am taking an example. So you will multiply 5 and 2, you will get 10, 10 into 2, you will get 20, 15 into 1, 15 and you just add them. What do you get? 5 here, 4 here. So 45 will be the UUCW. Okay. Now I'll show you the expression, what all we have to find out. But first thing is UUCW. So this is the formula. UUCW is the first thing. We have to compute other factors also like UAW, TCF and other. Next part is we have to assess the actors. In a use case, how many actors are there? What type they are? What is the actor complexity? For example, if you categorize your actor as simple, these are simple. For example, a system which is uh, defined working with API, another system machine or device that communicate using application programming interface. If you say my actor is average, that is a system interacting through a protocol or a data store. Protocol can be TCP, IP or UDP lines. It is an average actor. Now, if you say my actor has a complex uh, complexity, that means a human or humans who communicate through this GUI or other human interface or user interacting through GUI. It can be a complex kind of actor complexity. Now, we have already prescribed weight for each of them. Simple 1, average 2, complex 3. So, for that we will find out finally the UAW unadjusted actor weight. Now simple for example, it, there are two actors, average three actors, complex one actor. So you multiply one and two, you get two, three into two, six and three into one, three. What do you get? Eleven. So this, these are, this is the UAW or unadjusted actor weight. So as I told you the expression, two values we have found out. Apart from that, we also need TCF and ECF. TCF is simply a technical complexity factor. These uh, unadjusted two values which we just found out are modified considering this TCF, technical complexity factor and the environmental complexity factor which is the ECF. There are 13 uh, factors that contribute to TCF, 8 factor contribute to ECF. I'll, I'll just show you what they are. But UUCW you know how to find out. UAW I just found out here. TCF and ECF are the 13 and 8 factors will we'll give you the values and compute it. You'll just know how to compute this TCF and ECF. Then finally UCP will be found. 